Being disadvantaged, it gives you uh, the challenge and perhaps the motivation to go beyond. You are now listening to Sorel Gor MD. So where do we start on stents? The best way to learn about stents is not by searching for stents online or by searching about a particular stent or by trying to find a lecture on the basics of stents on Google. And I've been there and I've done that. I'll be honest, not a lot of good content out there. The best way to start is to really search for a name, okay? And that name is Dr. Julio Palmas. This is the amazing, intelligent, humble, interesting person who created stents. If you search for Julio Palmas on Google, on YouTube, or on Google Scholar, you will come to know about stents because he is the one who created them. And so I said, he's a very interesting guy. At 72, he still has a, a youthful look to him. He owns a vineyard in Napa Valley. He collects Porsches. And before he was training as an interventional radiologist, he grew up poor in Buenos Aires with his father, a bus driver. Right, Dr. Palmas came up with the idea of stents after seeing a lecture by Andres Grunzik. Grunzik was the inventor of the idea of balloon angioplasty. What he said in 1968 still holds true today. Sometimes balloon angioplasty works at opening up a blood vessel, and sometimes it doesn't. And the reasons are various, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Sometimes angioplasty works, and sometimes it doesn't. Well, Dr. Palmos decided that the best way to keep a vessel open after a failed balloon angioplasty would be to create a flexible metal scaffolding that would prop the vessel open. This was his idea of a stent. He literally went home and he would tinker with metal wires and a soldering gun, and he literally invented stents in his garage. A lot of well-respected companies told him flat out that he was crazy, that his idea would never work, that there was no medical need for something such as stents. But he persevered. He got financial backing from Phil Romano, the restaurateur who created Macaroni Grill and Fuddruckers, and eventually turned stenting into the billion-dollar-a-year industry that it is today. 